ordinarily i would not get up in the night but because of something that entered me now i can wake up 1 a.m on the dot without alarm something wakes you what is that something you see that and he begins to move you and speak to you and does something to your ears washes your eyes with eyes out and you begin to understand the things of the spirit listen brothers and sisters if this is not captured in your experience no matter what song you sing you are not worshiping a worshiper is not a musician a worshiper is not a singer a worshiper is one who understands the dynamics of hosting god if you cannot do that you are not a worshiper singing is only a spiritual instrument to us to help you ascend that ladder but much more than that the foundation of true worship is a the willingness to die to get to that realm called galatians 2 20 that have been crucified with christ in experience a lot of people come before god they worship for hours and go back and after service they just say ah how was the service ah powerful that guy can sing oh. and you watch the person no pregnancy you were not a bride you certainly it wasn't god that came there because if god comes something must shift in your life look at what the bible did with worship that people can be worshiping and god is somewhere winning battles the warfare dimension that when when the nation the nation of israel were surrounded by all kinds of enemies three kings arose the people began to sing and notice they didn't sing what they wanted the formula was given to them you are good and your mercy endures forever and all of a sudden the other side of worship is victory they were not seeing it but they knew something was happening and two enemies which foolish man goes for war with gold in his pocket are we together now and they began to kill themselves and the bible records that the last few helped to kill one another the last person killed himself and left the goal there and when they got there god said no 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 you can't walk twice if you've done one in my presence then the other one is done hmm. listen brothers and sisters i show you a route to hosting the glory of god and the power of god you can find out that when you worship truly at the end of it you will check the fibroid is gone nobody prayed something happened you see that when the fire comes the fire doesn't just burn you the fire burns everything that is not god whatever remains is the part of god in you hmm. when that fire comes it burns every pride it burns every dross that's why sometimes a song can be raised and you want to sing and the spirit says keep quiet that's your own worship you don't sing you just let your ears do the worship while you hear the words the spirit of god is ministering you want to join but there is a restraint and then you can keep quiet for 30 minutes afterwards the holy spirit will just lead you to take one song on your knees and that's where the miracle comes A living sacrifice I'm giving you a piece of my secret place this is what I do I don't just play songs and go before God and dance foolishly and off it and go out and no no I go with an intention to be changed with an intention Lord I have come before you they call me Apostle Joshua Selman but this is a worshiper coming before you and you stay until something begins to happen to you and then you see when you come out of that worship when people have exhausted a dimension in you you come out with a level of freshness another dimension you met him the pregnancy within you shows is an evidence and pe before people exhaust one dimension they lift up their heads and see another dimension ever fresh the secret is that secret place of the most high worship pastor our generation can pray but we don't understand worship are we together there is a dimension remember when you got into the second phase of the tabernacle you would meet the seven candlesticks the incense of prayer but much more than that there was a deeper realm 
so if all you do is just pray in tongues pray and ask oh god i've been warning you change my story i've i've told you this thing um, you know what kind of thing is this i'm, I'm is it that i'm not your son and and we, we quarrel god we, we we make a mess of ourselves and when we finish we just come out and say amen and you you convince yourself that you touched heaven no most of most answered prayers is just the mercy of god because we are doing many wrong things if you learn to stay the staying power of worship you stay till he comes not till you are tired you see let me tell you the hardest thing for the flesh to do is to stay quiet in god's presence you try it you can stand before a shop that sells minerals for one hour and not be tired you are looking at minerals you take one you eat bones and stay but let a song of worship rise for five minutes your flesh is fighting itching i want to go the secret is to keep it there there is something that that experience is doing you see that that's why many of us don't hear god the flesh is busy there are so many things you just sit down there and one song and you are thinking ah, ah, i didn't send the sms will he send me that money at all you see that's the devil that's the devil is the devil he's trying to distract you for your name is holy and all of a sudden ah my wife what are we going to eat today can you really help from that position where you are it's just the flesh the flesh fights the presence of god let me tell you this satan you've heard me say it in my teachings many people say satan is afraid of the presence of god it's not true go and read your bible there's nothing like that satan has never been afraid of the presence of god jesus is fasting for 40 days and his fasting invites satan satan comes after 40 days he's standing before him you thought he would shake satan said ah jesus you mean you finish why don't you turn this this is he's talking the word is talking back satan is replying the word in the book of job the sons of god were together satan in that fallen state still came have you considered my servant job you thought you would shake because of the glory no the presence of god doesn't scare satan it is the man that comes from the presence that scares satan it is not the presence of god it is the man that stays in that presence when you stay in that presence and come out there is something about that presence you carry there's something that it does to satan so the devil knows that if you stay in this worship it has a relationship with the job you are looking for so he said kai let me just go i'll come for tomorrow's service and you prolong something that should happen next week you make it december 2021 whereas worship one when you stay in the presence let me tell you when satan starts making you uncomfortable it's a sign that something is moving in the spirit he doesn't have that kind of time to waste worship has monetary value worship has destiny value when you know it you will never call it a waste they call her act of worship a waste of money it can be a waste of anything there are people who may think it's a waste of time you mean you just come to church to sing are we together worship is powerful let me tell you brothers and sisters and i admit to you there are many battles in my life that i did not even know they were battles because whilst worship was going on the fire of god was settling things up and down you will need it for your business carry your business and enter the ark of worship with it don't leave it outside that's where your headache is coming from carry that business in your mind and say lord i can't worship you and my business is outside i bring it to lord we carry every challenge and everything and we bring before you and whilst you worship when the fire comes it comes on everything by monday someone calls you and says i've been looking for you and you know you didn't pray about that issue something happened in worship you believe what i'm telling you brothers and sisters if you believe this your life will surprise you you will live as if satan does not exist cheap victories this worry is why we don't worship some of you as you're standing here now you are saying oh lord let somebody let talk about my rent but let's be honest do you believe that by worrying rent will be paid 
the landlord is coming in any way in, in any case so it's better to stay in the presence of god and then you watch god arise now you don't need to know how it will happen this is god we are talking about when you bring god into any equation the calculation changes one anything plus god is equal to the answer he wants anything zero plus god can be equal to one million depending on what he desires when you bring god into the equation he changes everything is god speaking to us tonight because i want to take a few minutes and then we will worship god but i want us to worship intentionally so that while satan is telling you ah you know that this this you need to raise money where will you buy the new car now are you not tired of that sound instead of hearing the holy ghost you are hearing the, the sound of your car and you leave it there carry the car with you to the presence lord i'm worshiping you i bring all my pain and you roll that pain away brothers and sisters when the fire comes and the glory comes upon it you will rise up with a strategy call a b c and you can call ah, uncle god bless you say do you know i just had a dream about you yesterday um come and meet me in my office they know not neither will they understand the bible says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course we reign in the kingdom this kingdom not just based on what we want based on the truths that we are aware of are we together now worship worship not just singing but an instrument of invoking god's presence if you can get god to show up where you are then you are safe if he can't show up you are in trouble no matter how you convince yourself that you are all right you are still in trouble my assignment as a person is to leave god face to face with my challenges and i know that i've entered rest because when god comes everything that does not look like him must give way he's an expert in that by my strength i do not have the power to win those battles but i know how to bring those battles to him i invoke his presence i call him and i love the yoruba people because you see down north we don't have too much um we our, our language cannot give us the kind of articulateness that we need but in the Yoruba language, it's amazing. You can call God. One word can mean many things. You're going to use that advantage tonight. Some of you have to call him a name you called. The last time you called that name was when you were seven years. Remember it again. It's the name you call to get admission. <laughs> when you graduated, you left the name because you are looking for a job. Tonight, you have to call that name again. You say, Lord, I remember when I called that name, you came and you showed up. Is God speaking to us tonight? House of David, hear me. I can tell you this. You know, those of you who follow our ministry, I had an encounter about a month or three weeks ago, a month, and I was just lying down, pastor, on my bed, and my pillow, I just saw written on it, the lifter of men. That's what I saw there usually god gives me messages by just writing it somewhere sometimes it just comes to my spirit but when god has to write it out then i take it serious the lifter of men and the anointing of the spirit is wherever his word is not the word written in scripture his speakings the present truth now so god begins to tell you look i am lifting men and my goodness the testimonies that have come of the sudden liftings it's okay if you already have an uncle it's just that god has not spoken to him you are closer to the miracle but the one that doesn't have any uncle anybody anywhere all of a sudden you hear that he got up with two three jobs where did it come from tonight i'm giving us a theme for worship the lifter of men we are worshiping tonight unto that end that lord you can change my story is it not the bible say withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power do not say to him go today and come tomorrow many of you are in lagos here but you have not eaten the riches of this land 
someone will come with the mystery from somewhere and walk in the abundance of it i want you to be angry tonight as we worship there is something from god that you need that grace for lifting if that can land tonight in this place then it was profitable for you one victory after another pastor in my little life i've seen what god can do when when god gets up from his throne to bless you he zooms his attention on you you will fear god you won't just praise him you will fear him he will do it in a way that you say god what is this i am lifting you not even you will stop me i have chosen jacob have i loved you have done something to me doesn't take so long for god to lift your business listen most people think men of god don't know anything about business you know when we talk like this uh, just keep your preaching there and let me what, what do you think ministry is what is a customer that god cannot bring are we together when you try it in the flesh and it does not work leave the flesh come to the altar of worship and say lord there's got to be a way i came tonight to provoke that spirit of lifting anything that is alive grows my god is the lifter of men i don't know about your god but my god many of you have come past this mountain long enough the truth is it's not like you are failing but you know honestly you have been at the same level for a long time you can't give you can't sow because all you have is is all upper there's got to be something in your life and my life if i look at my life in two weeks one month there is no change i will go for a retreat something is wrong some of us no favor nobody has thought about you this year it's a it's a cause for concern don't say i'm doing well let me tell you this favor is not money you can have money and not have men favor is when god provokes men to arise for you david was in a cave called adulam david was a worshiper men arose and came to that cave there's no need for packaging they came as dirty as he was say we have come to make you king who is showing up in your life to say i must stand by you till you succeed nobody we have tried human connections we have tried everything but tonight i'm calling us to a realm where we can access sheep victory that as you are rolling on the floor you are not just rolling foolishly you are saying lord i'm rolling away my pain i'm tired of this i graduated 12 years no job am i cost what is this and all of a sudden god says this is for me let the fire come i would have given you a job but i see pride let the fire edit that pride now my glory comes and and then let's see who will not give you that job we work so hard that's why we don't give god the glory the way we walk we just say lord i praise you but the truth is we are not praising him we suffered so much for that breakthrough we just say i praise you just so that we don't feel guilty i'm sorry if i'm a bit harsh tonight but i just want to push you it's because i love you i want us to receive something pastor you will see the kinds of testimonies that will come out of house of david not not i was promoted that, that well it's a testimony but i'm talking of someone who says i was sitting down and someone was going abroad and say can you manage my company and you sit down and say no I, I i didn't go to school say that's not the issue can you answer a and b i saw you in a dream and the lord said you are the person there are testimonies that should be so strange that even a non-believer will say i'm going to your church i must go to your church whatever they are giving you in that church i want it to when your testimonies are not notable they open up for for unbelief persecution and all of that god in this season is lifting men house of david yes 
I have prayed this in my life. I know this is where the anointing of the Spirit is. The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the time. Why is God lifting men? Of course we know this. Because the body of Christ needs the requisite influence. There are two ways to advance the kingdom. One is evangelism. The second is influence. Evangelism without influence will still keep the church victimized. So God is accelerating this lifting. There are, there are systems where the church must stay and if you are to be promoted three years per lifting your life is too you will retire and never rise anywhere and god is saying i want to give you speed like i did to elijah the bible says elijah began to run and overtook the chariots of ahab lifting i believe this i'm, I'm preaching to myself as i'm talking to you i know god is the lifter of men as you worship him tonight don't let the devil intimidate you keep all your business papers one side and say lord if if it is true that you are the lifter of men show up for me show up but listen the fire must come and prune a lot of things because there are many of us we cannot rise the way we are now there is pride there is flesh there are all kinds of things that's why the fire precedes the glory so whilst you worship the fire of god will come for some of us god is going to be talking to you work on your character your prayer life god cannot lift you because your prayer life cannot accommodate the kind of persecution that will come at that lifting so his mercy will make him leave you at that level because if you are lifted you do not have the spiritual fortification to stand the attacks that come at that level so he will keep you down but then you receive of him tonight the spirit of prayer and supplication and he says now you can rise ah i like to hear testimonies of people that god changed their lives not be i don't care what the detail is but the fact that my god can pick people my god can pick people look at my life let me tell you if you don't believe god lifts people you will suffer in this life you will never give the glory to god take your eyes away from some of these vain human connections i've been calling my uncle he's not listening it is your uncle your savior the bible says vain is the help of man all blessings come from god it just passes through men when you want to make it from men you are in trouble already it's god himself that will fight you for giving his position to someone else please let me speak to us business people and those who want to rise in the position of influence finance and all of that tonight i want to call you to that realm are we together of worship where you can arise some of you here just like our brother here are worship ministers you see let me tell you the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong i have seen people who are not the best but they tapped into this mystery and even them they are wondering what am i doing here because everybody who is in this realm has a legitimate reason some of them is age some of them is academic qualification what am i doing in their midst and god said my grace since you knew that i can pick people i picked you and i brought you there enough of this this analog system of rising you will never give god glory that way no sir who has ever had this pastor that in one day a woman can give birth he said but as soon as zion travails they've never been to no one has said in your family at 27 a car a house who dash monkey banana you say hold on god says let me use you to prove a point that i am alpha i am omega i can do as i please because you see let me tell you something we're going to pray there are people who have pegged god at a dimension and created a theology of limitation that god can only bless someone after five years and so sometimes your spirit is telling you but god can accelerate my life but you you are you are you are being careful like elihu so you don't look like you are a small child you don't know anything god you can be sitting here today and by next week sunday not friday you will enter this church with tears and say pastor look at my life what happened if you don't believe this you will never see it never see it but if you believe it with me then i let's let's trust god tonight and say father it is true that you are lifting men in worship change my life 
hallelujah is god speaking to us lagos is a place of abundance lagos is a place of plenty lagos is a place of lifting many of you have tried ev even what was supposed to work well when it gets to you it scatters go to the place of worship that frustration will kill you is why many people don't come to church again pastor because they think at this church thing i'm tired i hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh forever yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh to yahweh, yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Let's do some little prayer. Hold hands with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's challenge the spirit of unbelief. I know my God is able. I know my God is alive. I know my God is able. Come on, house of David. My God is alive. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. My God is not a man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. Pray. Our eyes are on you, the author, the finisher of every ministry, every business, every career, every family. Pray. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. second prayer point hallelujah we are praying father let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life take it away are you ready to pray that prayer lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray there's nothing to be embarrassed about this is a threshing floor it's a place whereby his spirit is building us lord take away everything the weight that easily besets me take it away all that robs me from reflecting you the carnality the flesh the pride everything everything the lost take it by your fire let your fire come upon my life let your fire come upon my business let your fire come upon my ministry let your fire come upon everything everything make sure you are praying hallelujah hallelujah listen please take this prayer seriously god is changing your life i'd like you to pray and say lord i vow that in my lifting you will be glorified you see let me tell you hold on hold on hold on 
it's easy to say lord give me car give me tea give me bread but there are many of us you were tested with certain things and your heart went away from god and god says no it is profitable that i keep you here i like you to pray and say father for as long as i live my life my wealth my increase the ministry the anointing will bring you glory can you open your mouth and pray oh it's for your glory the millions and the billions is for your glory the influence is for your glory the open doors in ministry in life in business make sure you are praying for your glory Keep praying for your glory, for your kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, many years ago the Lord spoke to me. Then I was nothing, nobody knew Joshua Selman for anything. And the Lord told me something. He said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I thought it was a joke. If you will let men see me, there are many of us, the reason why we may never rise to certain dimensions is because there is an obsession to be at the center stage i shared in abel kuta yesterday that everything that is glorious hides behind the veil are we together when rebecca was coming to meet her husband isaac as soon as she saw him she covered herself because she was a woman of glory when all of you is open to everybody you are cheap there is a part of you that must be behind the veil are we together that obsession to be known is why many of us are not known some of you may see us walk and come in ah the men of god and you just admire these things and your heart is already corrupted from the beginning there's nothing wrong with honor except that your your love for god and your desire to see his kingdom come must supersede your desire for fame listen carefully it's true there are so many people who have all it takes to rise but it's the hand of god keeping them there because their motives are so corrupt the love of god would dare not let them rise but if you can let the whole world see and know that there is nothing in this person all that i am is because of all that he is and god says you are doing this for me you have the opportunity to take everything and you say lord it's your soul and god says if that is the case then i'm ready to lift you to another dimension hallelujah pray one last prayer and then we'll worship for a few minutes i'll pray for you we'll be very brief we'll round off here now but i want you to pray this prayer and say father the challenges that stand before me that are frustrating my focus the focus that i need to give to my spiritual work could be financial could be academic could be family i bring them to the altar of worship tonight and i ask that your fire will fall on them lift your voice and pray i bring before you my pain i bring before you everything go ahead and pray i bring before you everything everything hallelujah Now please hear me. The healing anointing 
I sense this very strongly. And usually I would not do this. But ushers, I'm going to ask you to bring those under the anointing right now. Please, if you can, bring them forward. If ushers are limited prayer department, you can help them. There are people by the Spirit of God. Rain is falling in this place. Rain. Rain. There is a drawing by the Spirit. A drawing. Kalita Sabashaya. Laga Bragadaba Laga Parados Kodiata. A drawing by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Holy. Holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Ale Kalikot. Blessed is he who comes. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I will ask Pastor now to blow the shofar. There is a sound that you will hear from your spirit man. It's a sound of your call. There is a mantle for your destiny. There is a, an apostolic mantle, a prophetic mantle, an evangelistic mantle. Deep is about to be called on to deep. And in the name of Jesus, before we pray for the sick, there is a shofar that is about to sound over Canada. And as you hear that sound, let the mighty army arise. Arise, O Gideon, from your place of hiding. Arise, O Deborah, from your place of hiding. There is a clarion call. The program of God is at risk. Seeking for men. Yes, sir. Oh, hear the sound of the Spirit. Hear the sound of the Spirit. Canada. Hear the sound of the spirit. Apostles, hear the sound of the spirit. Prophets, hear the sound of the spirit. Evangelists, hear the sound of the spirit. Captains of industry, hear the sound of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Lord is opening my eyes. I'm about to minister to you. I'm seeing chains. Chains over hands. Chains over the feet of men. This is what I see in my vision. Hmm. But the Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's time for chains to break right now. I'm going to count three and at the third count I want you to shout the name of Jesus and as you shout that name every demonic activity over your life your family we come by an apostolic call by a prophetic mantle to break every chain that has tied down destinies Canada are you ready at the count of three you shout the name Jesus and every lawful captive by the blood of the eternal covenant must go free right now are you ready one two three shout jesus chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken every orchestration of witchcraft every orchestration of ancestry diabolic powers holding on to destinies 
holding on to families give way give way by the blood of the eternal covenant give way in the name of jesus Let praises rise from the inside, from the inside. May you delight. Now, for all those who are here, there's a reason why I ask that you bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every hindrance to your accessing power, every hindrance to your becoming that vessel ordained by God. I command that hindrance to give way now. I command that hindrance to give way now. I curse every devil. I curse every limitation from your life. And tonight at this conference, I release you. I release you to a new season. Step into a prophetic season by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into a prophetic season by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Therefore, I declare fear dies, timidity dies, oppression gives way now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every devil, every demon, every spirit, by the blood of the eternal covenant, leave their destinies now. Leave their destinies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our final session tomorrow night will be a miracle service. But let me just go ahead of myself. While I was praying for Canada, I saw a dark cloud like a blanket over the entire nation. And I was told that it limits people. And the Spirit of God took me to Luke 12 and the woman who had been bound you don't have to be bound physically it stops people from standing straight there is a spirit over this territory that strips honorable men of their dignity they remain they have to serve bow down he said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan has bound these years in the name of jesus we came to roll away that cloud we came to roll away that cloud. Canada, hear the word of the Lord. We came to roll away that cloud. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Those who are out here can return to their seats rejoicing. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. Ta -da 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 -da.
Hallelujah. Something mighty is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Victory? I'm hearing a name Victory. Victory. I can imagine that Victory, not Victoria, Victory. Hallelujah. If you find such a person, if they're in the overflow, that's fine. But Victory, there's a lady called Victory. I'm hearing that name in my spirit and whoever that lady is god's word for you victory a gentleman no problem i'll pray for you but i'm hearing it's a lady you are called victory i'm seeing a lady in my vision victory who is that what's your name victory look at me darling chair up you just relax i will pray for you don't feel bad my friend i'll pray for you what he says to one he says to all victory look at me you believe in the power of the holy spirit i'm seeing something that looks like a chain around your life and the lord is asking me to break that chain this is not just for you but your entire family in the name of jesus i stretch my hands chains break now break now break now break now break now in the name of jesus hallelujah I'm hearing a name. It's a Yoruba name, I believe. Yoruba from Nigeria. Dolako. Is there something? Dolako. Dolako. Who is that? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are stepping into a new season. That a new season. Dolako. Who is Dolako? The Lord is saying, I should prophesy that you are stepping into a new season. A new season. Who is Dolako? This word. Don't miss your word. Dolapo, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God rest upon you now. Take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Gift G I F T. Gift that is your name. Gift is there someone called Gift? Please don't tell lies. You are Christians. If it's not your name, sit back. Gift. Who is gift? Is there someone called gift? Gift. Hmm. Gift. Where are you? Listen to me. There is somebody, it's as if you cannot walk well. I don't know who that person is. You cannot walk well. Gift. Your leg. Check. A miracle has happened now. This is what I'm seeing happening to gift. Help him. Help him. The anointing is upon him. Gift. I feel the pain around my legs. Gift. You're not able to, it's like there's something wrong with listen let me say this when you see a prophetic operation like this i need to give you a disclaimer up front not everybody is fake there are people who love jesus and are people of integrity are we together unfortunately i know that the prophetic has been abused um, i mean made all kinds of caricature but when the prophetic is administered within the boundary of scripture it becomes for edification for comfort gift look at me run check yourself check yourself look at this that's all right that's all right that's all right this man is running with all his heart any pain where was the pain check yourself oh you are an athlete um give us a mic please Give us a mic. We're about to begin to take testimonies now. So, Kayo Day, Dr. Molly, please give them mics. Yes, Hallelujah. My friend, yes, sir. let me know about your situation. Sir, I'm an athlete. You are an athlete? Yes. From where? From Nigeria. From Nigeria? Yes. 
I no, no, I mean, you're based in Canada? Uh, yeah, I came here last year. Oh, you came here? Okay. Yes. So, I'm an athlete from Nigeria. Straight to the point. Yes. Chilma Ajua was my coach. Hold on, hold on. There's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear. Your left ear. Who is that? You? Place your hand there. I'm praying for you, but I'm praying... A lady is going to shout loud under the anointing very loud people will shout bring that person here what has happened to you now my friend right now i, can't, I, I just ran now no. the left side of his body was the left actually, side of your body actually paralyzed he couldn't train anymore he couldn't run anymore but now the power of God struck him. The anointing is upon this lady. This lady. Please help her. That lady holding her hands. The power of God. I'm seeing like oil being poured upon her head. So I wanted to help her. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to be praying for the sick. Please listen to me. Jesus heals. It is true that he heals. Jesus something special supernatural about your name jesus something happens when i mention amen hear me Shortly, I'm going to be praying for you, whether you are in here, the main hall, or the overflow, and the power of God is going to touch you. I'm going to ask you after I pray, to rush when you find out you're healed, whether it's to my left or to my right, there will be um, ministers of the gospel who will just test you. We have medical people too to test you, and then we'll take a few testimonies right now. Um, but for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus somebody is going to testify here tomorrow listen and that testimony is going to be concerning an email you will think I'm joking until you hear the testimony a this is a testimony that should have come since last year but for whatever reason it's been hijacked by demonic powers i say this under god if it is god that has spoken you will stand here and testify receive it as a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ now i stretch my hands over everyone we need to clear the place all who are standing here in the name of jesus christ for whatever reason by the power of the holy spirit i stretch my hands and I declare in Jesus name let the power of God touch you now touch you now someone by my left I'm seeing light the power of God is coming on you a strong anointing just on this robe with this gentleman wearing black a strong anointing and the Lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season shifting you to a new season shifting you to a new season i release that grace upon you help them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please return to your seats rejoicing we're about to pray now we're about to pray now we're about to pray now hear me for those of you who are watching online this is the one sound of revival canada i'm about to pray for the sick if there's someone who is sick please you can use your device put it on loud and take it close to them miracles are about to happen now Jesus heals he does not just save he heals do you believe that so here's what I want you to do I know some of you are standing in for yourselves you're standing in for your loved ones whether you are in the main hall or any of your it doesn't matter you release your faith I'm about to pray I'm going to ask you to lay your hands 
where you are trusting God for a miracle that can be for you or for your loved ones you can stand in for someone now, and I mean this seriously you know someone who is sick you have my permission call them or send them an SMS tell them connect now we want to pray we want to pray glorify your name glorify your name glorify your name in all the earth glorify your name my god glorify your name glorify your name majesty we worship your majesty you know that song help me all to be your glory honor and praise your does Jesus heal listen Canada do you know why Jesus heals he does not heal just to bring validation to the man of God you see every manifestation of sickness is a measure of death God designed the system of men such that every man is given one body per lifetime 